Hi, um, Thomas. Uh, my name is Arnold. Is your physiotherapist today? Um, what bring you here? Um, I got a diabetes and I, I got a wound on my heel, mm -hmm. but it already it has already been six months. But it doesn't get healed. So my doctor referred me to see uh, some physio treatment. I see. I see. Um, yes. Yeah, so you have six months problem, and you have a heel, uh, the, the wound heal and at the wound and the heel, but doesn't doesn't heal up. Um, so I think uh, one of the therapy that is quite common that can help you is called ultraviolet therapy. The purpose of this ultraviolet therapy is to help you to improve the blood circulation over there, especially when you have diabetes. Uh, and also it can help you to have improved the regular cell function, have the carotene formation so that you can have the wound to heal up more easier. Do you want to try this type of therapy? Yes. Okay. So before you try this therapy, I need to make sure that you're uh, don't have any contraindication to this treatment. So do you have any skin graft over that region? No. Um, do you have any skin allergy? No. Eczema? No. No. Um, do you have any uh, um, recent infrared therapy? No. Um, do you have skin cancer or any type of cancer? No. Um, are you sensitive to sunlight? For example, you will uh, get sunburn easily? No. Okay, do you have any systemic lupus uh, erythematosus? No. Okay, um, so based on your condition, I think you are suitable for doing this treatment. Um, but before that, we need to find out what's the best dosage for you to be treated. So we need to do a test. Um, after this skin test, um, you have to, when you go home, you have to come back again uh, after two days and come back and tell me how's the, um, the dosage and what's happened to your skin after tri trying this kind of test. Um, so, um, before that, I need to also warn you, you have to put on a, a goggle. Um, the purpose of this goggle is to protect your eyes, because ultraviolet, you know, you have to, when you go to see, uh, go to the beach, you have to put on sunglasses. Uh, one of the reasons is because of ultraviolet. So this ultraviolet glasses is to protect your eyes. Um, even though we have this type of protection, we still try not to look directly into the light. Is it okay? Okay. All right. So um, now I will try different dosage. This is the range of dosage that we try. As you can see, uh, 15 seconds, 25 seconds, 35 seconds. So this is quite common, um, given that you're not too dark. Um, so I think this kind of, uh, probably within this range, the minimum dosage can be fine. Um, so usually I will try to uh, put at a region that is not easily exposed to sunlight, uh, so that you can see the effect more clearly. So I will put it right over here. Yeah, thank you. And I will try to fix it here. Thank you. And you see that I, I try different um, duration of, of irradiation to your, your body parts. And so they have different shape as well. So when you go home, you have to keep track of when do you start to see some change in skin color. So if you for the best option is for the minimum dosage is supposed to be you can start to see some mild pain between six hours to twelve hours after this test. Okay, so now it's uh, still early at, at eight in the morning. So within the next twelve hours, keep an eye on it and see when you start to see that. Um, if you start to see some redness, some pain, uh, a pink color uh, within six hours, that will be another level that is a bit higher dosage. We call it E two. And if you find, um, start to see some more pink and red color within three hours, we call it E3. That means that it's quite, um, it's triple of your um, minimum dosage. And if within two hours you see some angry red color, just like sunburn color, that is called E4. That is something that is extremely high dosage, that is um, um, different dosage. So um, first of all, I need to test the machines. Um, I need to turn on the machines. And I need to check it. So I need to set it. I try five seconds to make sure that the machine is working. Press set again. And then uh, I will try to turn it on. So when it is on, you will see some um, purplish color like this. So it's counting down for five seconds. It will turn off automatically. It's done. So um, in order to make sure that every time I know um, 
the dosage, I need to measure the distance. So given that the distance between this lamp and um, the edge is around 1.5 centimeter, so that means I need to keep a distance, usually it's 4 centimeter from the skin, so that means I need to keep it at around 2.5 centimeter away from this area. So let's give it here, make sure that it's around that distance. Okay. Then I will set the time. So given that the maximum time is 35 seconds, and this one will count down, so that means at when it counts down to 20 seconds, I will start to cover this one. When it starts to um, count down to 10 seconds, I will cover the second one, and when I when it, and then until it finishes. So I will use this black paper so as to cover it one by one. So I will set the time again. it and then start to do it press start button you turn on and you start now so up I wait until 20 seconds then I recover it the first the first hole and then wait to 10 seconds Second one. Come down to last ten seconds. Okay, it's done. So, do you feel any discomfort? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to have this any kind of discomfort. So, I turn it off now. So, as I mentioned, just go home and keep an eye on it. I will give you a paper, and then you can mark down. Um, when you start to see um, change in skin color, okay? Um, so I will see you again two days later when you come back. And in case you have any problems, just uh, feel free to contact me. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, so uh, see, after the last, um, last test, we find that uh, this patient's E1 is 15 seconds. So we know that, I don't know whether you can see the wound here, um, so we know that E1 should be the, ed, the region that is used to irradiate the surrounding region as well as the granulation tissues around these regions. And while E2 will be, uh, um, can be used for the granulation tissues, and E3 should be used for the sludge tissues, and E4 should be used for the ASCAR. So in order to cover different area, we need to prepare using a paper towel to repair a hole so that we can cover it. Um, a particular regions after certain um, irradiation time, we cover it and then we can continue to do it in order to, uh, to give the right dosage to the wound. Um, for example, for this case, because it's E1, we know that it's 15 seconds. So first of all, we will try to irradiate the entire region first. And then for E2, if you calculate well, that will be equal to 37.5 seconds, that around um, 38 seconds, and then E3 will be around 75 seconds, and E4 will be equal to 150 seconds. So let's start to do the E1 first. As before, very important thing is we have to use the same machines because um, the E1 is calculated based on this machine's binding, so we cannot use it and change it to another machines. So remember the machine's label, and this time this one is kernel, and so like last time, we just need to turn on the machines from the side. Again, we have to um, test the machines. So make sure that it is working. So we will start to test it with five seconds. And of course, before that, you have to ask your patient to put on the goggles, even though he is unlikely to see the, the lights. But we have to make sure that the patient is uh, well covered. And also, you have to outside the cubicle. You have to. Um, make sure that no one will come in and let people know that you're doing ultraviolet. So first of all, we need to test the machines. So like before, um, what we need to do is just to press the button and turn it on and make sure that it works. So now if it's working, five seconds, 
Okay, it's done. Okay, we put it back. And in order to make sure that uh, you can save your time, you already prepare the power, um, the paper towel, and cut a hole in it. And also we need a, a ruler to make sure that it is um, four centimeter from from the wound area. So. So like before, we need to, as you still remember, this is around 1.5 centimeter away from the edge. So this one will be around 4 centimeter away from the wound. And we need to set the time as well. Because 15 seconds will be the correct time. So we just set it to 15. But of course, in this case, I'm not going to do it um, because you know it's unethical to do ultraviolet to a normal patient, uh, people. But as long as you know how to do it, um, then you do it. So now, suppose I will inform the patient. So um, Thomas, we are going to do this test, uh, do this treatment for you now. You're not supposed to feel anything, but if you feel any discomfort, just let me know. Okay? Okay. All right. So then you're supposed to press the button. And before that, you have to make sure that it's four centimeter, and then press the button and wait for 15 seconds. And after that, you need to do is to adjust the time. So in order to make up to uh, the granulation tissues, you need to add an additional 22.5 seconds. So what you need to do is just to set the time, add additional 23 seconds to it. And then, and then press this, do it again, press the start, and then you can do that. So after this, you need to do is to use the fasting uh, to um, make sure that you have, you can cover these regions. But of course, when you do the fasting, you have to um, use a spectra. is just to make sure that um, to protect those relatively healthy tissues. And of course, you can you only do it once, and then you use the other side to do it, because it may contaminate with some bacteria, so we have to make sure that it is only used it once, and we'll put it back. So then we use another one. Expose those granulation tissues, ascar as well as um, those lock. And then we know that we have to add additional 23 seconds. E2. And after this, we need to do is to add additional 38 seconds in order to get the E3. So we do it again. Um, After this, we have to further cover it again because we need additional 75 seconds in order to make up to for E4 in order to um, for SKRT2. So 
So for this case, it will be 15 seconds because uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds will equal to 75 seconds. minutes and then set it and then you cover this entire region except the S car and then you press the start and do it. And after 75 seconds it's done. Make sure that you turn off the machines before you ask the subject to get up again. Of course you need to because for this case you have to do the wound dressing, um, cover it, clean the rest of the, the region and then uh, put the wound dressing on and then ask the subject to get up again. Of course during the period you have to make sure that Thomas is okay. Thomas are you doing okay? Yes. Okay. And then that's it. Thank you.